Dave, how are you doing today? Hey, I'm good, Rory. How are you? I'm really good. Such a pleasure to talk to you again. Yeah, likewise. So, considering the genre, I have to ask, what is Dave Bautista's favorite scary movie of all time? I think it's going to be The Exorcist. <laughs> I think for me, it's still The Exorcist. And it was funny because I, I remember showing my daughters when they were very young, and I thought they would, it would scare them, you know, half to death watching The Exorcist. And they just thought it was silly. Like, they didn't get it at all. <laughs> like, to them, a paranormal activity was way more terrifying than exorcist. But for me, I don't know. There's something about the exorcist that is just absolutely terrifying. I asked M. Knight, and he said the exact same thing. So you're in oh, good company. He? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, considering the central concept of Knock at the Cabin, which essentially is around an impossible decision, uh, I'm going to ask you three impossible decisions for you oh, and see okay. how you get on. Right. So the first one's easy enough, maybe. Okay. So you can only have one of these forever going forward. Coffee or chocolate? Oh, chocolate. That quickly. <laughs> <laughs> chocolate, yeah. yeah. Your birthday or the holiday season? Um. Oh, easily the holiday season. I, I don't, I do not like birthday attention. I shy away from it. I run away from it. It's so uncomfortable for me. I don't like, yeah, I don't like it. It feels like, I, I just don't like the attention. It feels like pointless to me. And I just, okay. uh, I'm so uncomfortable with it. Holiday season, uh, yeah, yeah, birthday. And, and last one for the difficult questions, of course. Um, action or comedy? Comedy. Now, is that watching or being a part of, would you say? Both. What, it, what is it about comedy that kind of lights you up a bit? Um, you know, I think uh, everybody needs to laugh. I think everybody feels good laughing. I'd rather, uh, you know, I'd rather sit in a film and laugh than watch uh, two guys duke it out or, you know, this big car chase. I feel like, you know, if you, you've you seen one car chase, you've, you know, you've seen them all. They're all, kind of all the same, and they're thrilling, and they're great, and they serve their purpose. But to hear just a simple, uh, you know, back-and-forth banter that's humorous, I'd just rather sit and enjoy that. Um, and also perform that, which is funny for that I'm saying now because, you know, for years, I, you know, I just, I don't find myself a funny person. And for years, I, like after I did Guardians, of the, the first Guardians of the Galaxy, I started getting offered comedies. <laughs> and I couldn't understand why. And I, you know, it was, it was a struggle. But the kind of the more I kind of dove into that space, the more I appreciated them. Um, and I just, I have so much fun with them. Again, this goes back to me. I think it's a, a it's a great form of performance. I think the comedic comedic performances, it's definitely uh, it's something that I love doing. I appreciate doing, and I realize um, where my talent in that space lies now. I'm a, I, I'm a quality straight man. I'm just, <laughs> just just good at being a straight man. But that also being a good at a straight man allows me to sit there and enjoy the comedy of someone like Chris Pratt or someone like Kamel Nanjiani. Uh, who, you know, who just like bring it and they're just so funny and so witty. So it's me. I can just sit there and ju just kind of enjoy the moment and laugh at them. And everybody needs laughter. Laughter feels good. You know, I don't care who you are, but, you know, anything that brings you joy and laughter is nothing but a good thing. You know, so I'd rather laugh than, you know, than be in suspense from an action film. I, I absolutely agree. And I have to say, you brought a lot of joy and laughter to many, many audiences over the last few years. So thank you, thank you for that. Dave, thank you so much for your time yeah. today. All right. Thanks, Roy. Your family has been chosen to make a horrible decision. If you fail to choose, the world will end. <laughs>